Hello, I'm George Sellers, Creative Director for Global Views and Studio A Home. Thank you for joining us for Show and Tell. I'm going to be talking about textiles. Textiles is an interesting and challenging category for us, and I think we've embraced it really well. Um, pillows, of course, textile. Here, we're, you'll see a couple of categories of digitally printed leather, pretty awesome. Stitching, beautiful embroidery, uh, we covered a gamut with um, beading, uh, all sorts of things that you're going to be seeing. Um, one category that we are uh, really developing and creating new techniques in is rugs. Often in the showroom people ask, um, do you sell rugs? When they're actually standing on one, that is for sale. They're always styled in the showroom on the floors and that's how they show beautifully because they are a rug. We, we're not hanging that often unless you're in one of our showrooms that is equipped that way. But uh, we will be talking about these new techniques of digitally printed bamboo silk. Gives it a beautiful low profile, contemporary look. We have tufting, we have so many categories that we, or uh, materials that we work with. Okay, so here we have the Global Views new pillows. Um, this pillow is called the Shimmer Snake Pillow, and it's a very interesting technique that makes this pillow. It's actually covered in very small metallic rectangular shaped pieces, and then those are digitally printed with the snake skin pattern on top of them. And so it's a very dimensional thing in that you've got the background fabric, you've got the rectangular metallic beads and then you have the imprint of the snake skin with the digital um, material. Each of the pillows that we're talking about today are 20 inch by 20 inch pillows. Uh, the inserts that go inside of them are 21 inches by 21 inches. They're 32 ounces of 95% duck feather and 5% duck down. And so, and those come with the pillow. Uh, when, when you purchase the pillows, they come with the pillows. The next pillow we have is a very heavy pillow, but a very beautiful pillow. This is the beaded pillow in champagne coloration. And it is covered on the surface with all of these individual bugle beads that are standing straight off the surface of the pillow. And behind them on the background of the pillow is a little tiny square sequin. And then on the end of the bugle bead, there is a little cupped shape piece that holds the bugle bead in place. Again, the same kind of filler on this pillow. They're 20 by 20 inch pillows with the same duck feather and down, duck down inserts inside of them. This champagne color really is kind of like a nude illusion fabric. It's kind of a, a, a flesh tone fabric on the back side of these beautiful um, standing bugle beads. And if I can show the white one at the same time, you will see the color difference between the two. This is the same pillow, only it is in the white colorway as opposed to the champagne colorway. Um, again, the same construction that we'll show you close up in other videos that we're going to take today on these pillows and the same kind of down fillers included with these pillows. This is the shimmy pillow. It is covered in one inch long bugle, glass bugle beads that are held in place with little uh, round cups on the end of each one through a thread back to the, the gray ground color beneath the silver toned bugle beads on this pillow. The front of this pillow is covered, the back is a beautiful um, silk sateen fabric. Now, this is a Studio A pillow. This is Mother of Pearl that has been dyed gray. The great thing about Mother of Pearl is it's a natural material, but it takes dye individually, depending upon the thickness of the Mother of Pearl shells that you're working with, and a lot of the natural uh, colorations of the Mother of Pearl shells that you're working with. This one um, is, is, is very remarkable in that it, um, it is so incredibly heavy and it's so beautifully done. We found that the most success with pillows in our collection happen to be the pillows that are a little bit more out there with a little bit more bling and a little bit more kind of, of uh, really intensely done uh, work on the surface of the pillow. This pillow is single-sided. 
with a really pretty gray chambray on the back side. So it's a mother of pearl shell with a gray dye. This is the Mystic Pillow, and it is made from a really interesting macrame kind of strings that have been woven into this really intricate pattern that you can see on the surface of the pillow. Then the fabric in this situation is dyed black. After it's dyed black, it's stonewashed, like a pair of stonewashed jeans. So it gives these highlights of color so it's not all just one tonality. There's a lot of depth to the color on these pillows. Again, they're the 20 by 20, the macrame surfaces on the front. The backs are beautiful black chambray fabric. Then we have the same kind of effect in a blue color tone, the Mystic Pillow blue stonewash. And by, again, stonewashing the, the fabric that's on the surface of this pillow, it really creates a lot of depth and color changes as you look across the surface. It doesn't look flat and plain. It's got a lot of depth and, and, and really beautiful detail to the pillow. All of our pillows also carry branded tags on the bottoms of them. This is a, happens to be, a, a, like I said before, a Studio A home pillow. And then finally, we have the same macrame surface pillow, the Mystic Pillow Stone Wash Ivory. And um, it really is a very elegant pillow, I think. Again, there's just so much detail to the weaving technique used on the surface of, with these macrame threads. And the macrame threads are all different widths and, and twists and straights, and um, it, it just creates a whole rhythm on the surface of the pillow. Again, the back of the pillow is a nice stone-washed chambray fabric pillow. So the feature rug for Global Views for summer and spring of 2020 is this beautiful ivory and gray tessellating rug. Tessellating is a pattern that when repeated on a ground surface, it interlocks and you don't really realize that you're looking at the exact same pattern, just repeated and turned, repeated and turned, repeated and turned. That's the meaning of a tessellated pattern. There's a few classic kind of patterns that are known to tessellate very well together, and this happens to be one of them. It's almost like an elongated eye with T intersections on the top of each of the eyes. So here's the, here's the eye here, and you can see that it repeats, it repeats, it repeats, it repeats, and it interlocks everywhere it goes. This is made from 100% wool. The ivory material is a uh, cut, pile wool and it's also beveled on the edges where it goes down and meets the connection point on these rugs which is an interesting use of material for us it's actually a bamboo silk fabric that has been used to join these tees together on the the, the base material so that actually um, the bamboo silk fabric that is between these patterns uh, creates the color change that you see between the ivory of the wool and the gray of the, the, the cracks between the patterns. Our standard sizes on rugs are 9 by 12, 8 by 10, 6 by 9, and 5 by 8. And on the back of this rug, you can see that it is a simple gray cotton material with a binding tape that goes all the way around the back of the rug for strength and stability and keep it from fraying or, and keep it from moving. It's almost as though the bamboo silk pattern that creates the, the, the gray tone here has been stitched between each of these tessellating shapes of, of the eye. Other new Global Views rugs that we have are these beautiful hair on hide rugs that are called inlay hair on hide. And we have these available in the three colorations that you see here. The ivory hair on hide, the gray hair on hide, and then the dark chocolate brown hair on hide. And all of them have this, this is the exact size and pattern of the inlay pattern that creates the interest on these pieces. <clears throat> the other thing that you can see on these swatches is you can see how well stitched each one of these, these patterns is attached to the pattern next to it in these inlaid patterns on the rug. 
One really interesting fact about hair on hide rugs is they're virtually impervious to any type of stain. You can literally spill red wine on a cowhide rug and it will simply wipe off completely clean and won't leave a stain behind. Um, I think it's the most remarkable thing about them and it certainly makes them worth the wait and the, the price that you have to pay to get these hair on hide rugs into your home. Um, if you have children, if you have pets, if you have cocktail parties, if you have a lot of visitors in your home, they really do not show stain of any type. This is the key introduction for Studio A home for spring summer of 2020. This is called the Optic Rug in Gray. It is a hand woven bamboo silk material and it creates this beautiful undulating kind of curve that repeats and repeats and repeats. We'll have the Studio A rug on the floor in the studio later and we'll tell you a good video of the entire rug, but we wanted to go ahead and include this swatch while we had the rug program going on. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Show and Tell about textiles and we look forward to uh, showing you what we can do.